Two of the biggest pending free agents for the Chiefs is, of course, Legereus Sneed and Chris Jones. So the question is, who do they keep? One or the other? Or do they try and make both work? Well, Dan Grazano of ESPN says that Chris Jones is their pass rush, both from the interior or, of course, you can kick him outside on the edge for key third downs. He was effective doing that. Sneed is great, but Chris Jones is the irreplaceable player on the defense. Last week, Legereus Sneed told Brett Veach to pay him when Kay Adams asked him on her show if he had a message for Brett Veach. He literally said, pay me. But it is an outside shot they can afford to pay both players, even with a Patrick Mahomes potential contract restructure. And Sneed admitted as much, saying he's not sure they can afford to keep both of them around, but obviously would like to. And that's why Dan of ESPN thinks they will find a way to keep Chris Jones above Sneed, even if it's just taking his franchise tag number and potentially adding void years to it to lessen the short-term cap impact. That's not something Brett Veach normally does, but I guess he can't rule it out. And if that does indeed happen, franchise tagging Chris Jones, Dan surmises that Legereus Sneed will not get his wish of being paid by Kansas City and will have to get a deal elsewhere. And don't get it twisted, he's gonna get a deal. Some team is gonna pay that man a lot of money because he locks down wide receiver ones for a living. And one reason why things could shake out like this, meaning Chiefs do what they can to keep Chris Jones, and let Legereus Sneed walk, even though I would love to keep them both, is they have a great secondary with Trent McDuffie, Joshua Williams, Jalen Watson, Brian Cook, Justin Reed, and the newly drafted last year, Chamari Connor and Nick Jones. Of course, you can say what you want about some of those players, but there are some big staples in that group. Then Nazi Johnson, who tore his ACL during training camp last year, looks like he's healing up nicely via this recent short training video, and he told me he's not yet 100%, but is getting there and he has plenty of time as it is. Anyway, it's only February. Then you combine that with the fact that Brett Veach has been great at finding solid secondary players in later rounds of the draft. Uh, case in point is Legereus Sneed was a fourth round draft pick. Therefore, they may take their chances of letting Sneed walk in free agency and doing whatever they possibly can to keep Chris Jones around. I mean, he is probably the second most important player on the team outside of Patrick Mahomes, or at the very least top three if you wanna slide Kelsey in at number two. With that being said, if the Chiefs franchise tag Chris Jones, his tag will be somewhere around $32.16 million. Huge cap hit, and they will need to figure out very soon if this is the route they wanna go because the two week window for tagging Jones begins tomorrow, February 20th, and they have until March 5th to tag him or to let him walk into the waters of free agency where hungry teams will more than likely throw their entire life savings at him. And I'll just say this, I'm glad I'm not Brett Veach because choosing between Sneed and Chris Jones will not be easy and almost gives me a stomach ulcer just thinking about it. Now, some in the kingdom remain optimistic and think the Chiefs will do all they can to keep both. And while it is a possibility, I would think it's more than likely they keep one and move on from the other.